the NBA on 2K Sports. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for New York, they've got Ewing. We will see him go to work on that low block. One of the great centers right now in the league. Then it's Johnson, and it's Oakley and at the power forward position. And then for the Dallas Mavericks. We've got Bradley. He brings a very important inside presence to this team. A mainstay in their offensive and defensive strategies. And it's Green in at the four spot. You know, the Knicks got off to a fast start, but when you employ as many old bodies as they did last year, it's hard to sustain the level of play you need over the course of a full season. Uh, it's one reason they started to falter a bit late in the year. And so here is New York. On the wing, Johnson. Drops one in from the wing. Johnson's got the opening field goal of the game for the Knicks. Here's Pat. And Clark, you said it, the Knicks did hit that low last season right after the All-Star break into early March. But Steve, when the Vets saw the finish line in sight, they picked up their play and got back in it. That's right, they won 13 games in a row late in the season catapulting themselves back into the top tier of teams in the East and let everyone know that they would not be exiting the playoffs early. That, that really was the start of that run. And so here is Dallas. The Knicks making the shot. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Guys, the Knicks head coach had a couple of minutes to spend with me. He said they'll have to do a good job moving their feet on the defensive end or they'll get dunked on all night. He told me that they are very aware of the slashers and finishers they're facing and will try to turn them into jump shooters. Let's see how successful they are, Kevin. And thank you for that, Doris. And so it's New York with it after the main shot from Finley. He feeds it to Johnson. Pass to Ewing. Deflected. Six on the shot clock. Now the dish to open. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. On defense, New York. Four-point game. Number 23. They get it back. Green. And the officials call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Back to Ewing. The pass to Ward. Some nice passing by New York here. Houston is guarded by Davis. Houston gets it to go from eight feet. You know, that's one way he can finish, but not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Here's Reeves. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Always a threat, guys. Three-point land that time was seriously expanded in the gym range. Yeah, he's got the defense completely spread out now. I mean, they have to honor him practically when he crosses half court. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Knicks lead by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. And off we go. A close game now starting the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the Knicks so far, what do you guys think? And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. And the Mavericks with possession here. They trail by one. A three ball. Another three for Pats. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Here's New York. We've got 128 left to play here in the second quarter. Oakley dishes to Johnson. Pass to Houston. And he lays it straight in. Six points for him. And Kevin, what I like about him is that he tends to get hot 
at the most opportune times. It doesn't matter if it's coming out of a halftime or out of a timeout. Uh, he just has a knack for heating up in a hurry. And you know what, Steve? We also have to talk about his shooting. I mean, the fact that he coached with tight D better than anyone is something to make note of. His percentage stays the same, and if he's wide open, he's automatic. And so here is New York following the score by Dallas. Or the pass to Houston. Three-pointer. Pass to Johnson. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. And it's Ewing penetrating. The Knicks shooting their first free throws of the game. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throws. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. So he comes up empty at the line. The Mavericks leading. Passes it to Pat. He passes to Strickland. Shoots. Ewing gets the rebound. That's a shot he's got to hit. I mean, you don't get too many better looks from that range. Oakley passes to Houston. The jump hook. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Mavericks ahead. They're up by two. And coming up after the break, it'll be Damon Bruce breaking down all the highlights from the first half of play. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Tipping off your halftime show, I'm Damon Bruce, and a close one is underway in Brooklyn. It's a close game for the Mavericks going up against New York. They've looked to their bench for scoring, and it's paying big dividends. A nice contribution by A.C. Green giving them a lift. He hasn't put up overwhelming numbers, but without him, where would they be so far in this one? Looking at New York, they're definitely making plays as well. They've been aggressively attacking the rack, getting a lot of points right at the rim. A valuable contribution by Charles Oakley. And what a great game from Larry Johnson as well. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested first half so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Reeves. That's yeah, interesting, too, because the numbers don't jump out at you, but you think about how hard he's played and the number of things he's done well. He's really helped his club. Yeah, he has. I mean, trust me, he's getting it done. He's making winning plays, whether they show up in the numbers column or not. He's impacting the game. Knicks trail by four. Johnson outside. Johnson off the pick from Oakley. To the inside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. You get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside. Now off the inbound. Finley can't get it to go. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Or the pass to Johnson. Here's Houston. Six to shoot. And it's all evened up. He's got eight. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. There's 53 seconds left in the third quarter. And there's the pass to Finley. It's rebounded by Ward. Knicks on offense. Snatched away. And here we go. The Mavericks in a fast break. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create off the yes. beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Well, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. 
23 seconds left to play here in the third. Johnson to screen. He kicks it to Ewing. Can't get it to go. He would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, that kind of shot will definitely get you the high brows from the coach and maybe get you a seat on the bench, too. Here's Finley and the rejection by Houston. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Mavericks lead by two. 2K Sports back in a moment here in Brooklyn. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. New York trailing. Or the pass to Houston. Pass to Ward to take the lead. And the shot is good. And there's been zero effort defensively by both these clubs tonight. And don't let that high score fool you. I mean, it's a product of poor defense more than great offense. Dallas shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. In low to Davis. And he finishes nicely on the way. I'll tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Here's Houston. And he goes in for the top. Stupendous rush to the rim and a mighty slam on the end of it. But through the teeth of some pretty soft D, I can't help but say that. Well, let's see how that impacts things here. Because those kinds of plays sometimes can be game changers on both sides. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Back to Davis. Passes it to Reeves. And it's blocked by Houston. Sixty seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Johnson kicks to Ewing. Double team on Ewing. Back to Johnson with the shot. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert it. He's got to take that every time. Pass to Riley. The shot will not go. The Knicks go the other way with it. Now the feed to open. He passes to Ward. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lock at six. Oakley is screen on Davis. Ward, the pass to Oakley. Neil Davis comes up with the rebound. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. And here's Bradley. Hat missed. He's far too tentative in the paint. I and mean, even more so when the defender is up tight on him like that time. Houston can't cash in. So a close game sees New York take this one. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. Well, that'll do it for us for Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. We'll endorse Burt Kevin Harlan saying so long. And as we end the game, we bring you our Jordan player of the game.